Welcome back, everybody, to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All, Blind. But the title gets longer every time. I think in, the, like, the third game, it's just going to be longer and longer. It's like Game of Thrones, whenever Daenerys is on the screen. All right, so we're in the break of court. Uh, things didn't go that well, I feel, with, uh, with Miss Von Karma, but um, I think we did okay. I mean, I think we did everything right except for when I pointed to the wrong thing. Other than that, now we're going to have to go through another witness screening, so we'll see how that works. Are you doing okay, darling? Ugh, oh, that was a close one. I know you're giving it your all to defend me, but I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. Girl, don't even worry about it. Like, literally, it's okay. No, I'm going to get you out of this uh, if it takes me a million lifetimes, uh, which it might. Oh, sorry. Windows. <laughs> Please put in the comments how to tell Windows Defender to shut up. <laughs> Clearly I need to know. I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. But thanks! Wait, tricked? That wasn't a trick, that was the truth, madam. That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of heart. Oh, another jam like always. Remember, Nick, you promised you'd save me. If you lose, my ghost will come after you with my sis and haunt you. <laughs> oh no, please. I don't need two booby ghosts in my life, please. One is enough. Your sister? Are you talking about Mystic Mia? Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess she, maybe she was too young to remember. I mean, she was only seven or so. All right, here we go. Oh, I, well, I can't wait to start this. This is going to be a thing. Court will now reconvene now. The first order of... Oh, we're already getting hit by whips. What's your, what's your problem? I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. Whoa, Jesus. My God. She's really got some kind of M.O. Like, I can see it already. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. Witnessed. I witnessed it. What's up, girl? Witness, your name and occupation, if you please. Hey, Phoenix! How you doing? Um, yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Real good. Uh, just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know? Ah, yowza! Oh no, Lada would not take this crap. She's got a lot of balls too. She's just punch her in the face. Wait, maybe not the face. Don't ruin her face. Punch her somewhere else. Also not the boobs. Name and occupation. Man, I can't believe it. I thought maybe she was only into like, you know, making dudes like her bitch, but apparently she's into making everyone her bitch. I declare what in tarnation? Hey judge, this here is a violence against my fair self. Yeah, someone throw the book at this one. That's fine. Oh, he doesn't care. That's fine. That ain't fine. That's a whip. Ah! There's no need for foolish outcries from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gotten to say my name and job yet. Oh, she's not having any of this crap. God, she is absolutely horrifying. The name's a lot of heart. Paranormal photographer, and I'm here to testify. No, no, let's all be one big happy family, okay? What kind of family do you know that does this? Look, I don't even want to know. Alright, here we go. The account of what happened, even though she wasn't even there. <laughs> Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. That's correct. We was outside waiting and then bang, we heard a gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. Was she really waving a pistol around, Lotta? I don't think so. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. Hmm. Well, that makes it look real bad, but I think there's a little bit of a problem already. Waving the pistol around my ass. And did you see, did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Wrecking cars? Eh? Uh, excuse me? A wrecking course. It's short for you reckon? Of course I did. Ow! Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. The moment of truth. 
What will be in that picture? Yeah, can we see that, please? Uh, let's see here. This here's the picture. All right, let's look. Okay. Wait a minute, no. For I see a couple of things wrong here. So she's not standing next to the screen, which is where I would have expected her to be. She's on the other side of the room. Um, hmm. Let's take a look. He's dead on the floor. The blood splatter is in the same place. I don't know if we'd be able to see the hole in the screen or in her outfit at this angle. But I don't see one. Jeez. Wow, my hair is long. This is hair goals. For me, anyway. I'm trying to grow my hair as long as possible. It sucks. It would certainly seem that only the defendant and the victim were in that room. Hmm. Something's wrong here, though. I don't know. Well, let's go with what we have. It's just something doesn't look great. What about the knife and everything, too? Like, is that just not shown? Maybe we didn't see it. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? No. <laughs> no, not actually. I will clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. I'm just going to press everything and pray that something comes up that makes me, like, have a light bulb go off or something. I think that's what we might have to do is, is talk about positioning, though. Off first glance. Okay. Only the doc and the defendant went into the challenge. I mean, that's right, but I'm still going to press it anyway. Was it really only those two that went in? Phoenix, you know it was. You were there. What are you blabbering about? You were there, too. Were you not? Mm-hmm. All right, so now I'm channeling this lady. It's okay. She's good. Why don't you answer that yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Yes, Dr. Gray and Maya were the only two who went- Okay, well, I thought I'd try it. Hold on, we can't have the defense testifying against his own client. Anyway, folks, only the two of them went into the channeling chamber, you hear? But you knew that from the very beginning, didn't you? Witness, continue. All right, we were waiting outside the door, and then bang, we hear the ghost. That also happened, but I'm going to press this anyway. Say anything. Anything in there? Was it really a gunshot? Phoenix, you were there! Oh, Phoenix. Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Uh. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes, I think it was something that sounded like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to the defense testify? <laughs> I don't know, because we've all lost our minds a little bit. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know, and I tell you that was a gunshot I heard. Now, this, this is where the story heats up. Mr. Lawyer there broke down, yeah, that also happened. We were there. So, let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down? Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you tell us what happened then? Uh, yes, Miss Von Karma, I broke the door down. Sorry. Why does this feel like an inquisition? Because you're asking stupid things. I thought maybe we'd get something else out of it. No need for apologize, and that was great. You're a real man. Oh, really? That's something I would have liked to see. What, Phoenix be a real man? Oh, Judge has got a little crush, does he? It's okay, everybody got a crush on Phoenix. They just don't want to say anything, because Phoenix is a real bottom bitch, let's be honest. The judge is smiling rather openly. I'll take that as a good sign. And what did you see once you broke in? I think this statement here is going to be the one. Inside was the dead victim in defense. No, I don't think this is true at all. This is where we have to get her. I'm sure of it. Are you sure it was the defendant, Maya Faye? Sure, I'm sure. Lada seems awful confident in her testimony. Mm-mm. This is exactly what I was hoping, too. I don't think. Because if we... Okay. It's going to sound crazy. But if we have that picture to go on and it's true, she only saw the back. I mean, yes, it's probably Maya, because who else wears the costume and who else has the hair? But that's one thing. And then also, she's not in the position I thought she would be in. Lada, please think back to that day one more time. What? What you getting at? Remember when you said what we what you said when we broke into the room? That's right, she did say something, didn't she? Oh, Phoenix. Oh God, we gotta look at this creepy shit again. Yeah, look, see, she's already over here. Lada must have heard this, right? And she must have seen that it looked a little bit different. Maybe she didn't. I was murdered. Click. Okay, that didn't happen the first time. Oh wait, maybe it did. It's hard to remember everything. Oh my Christ. So she did take- So wait, do we have that photo? Or did- Is it just simulating that she took the picture? Did she actually take a picture from the front? Because if so, I need that. When you saw the murderer at that time, 
You couldn't even tell it was my affair or not, am I correct? Ah, uh, uh, well, well, you see. Yeah, poke a hole through this. Quickly. Order, Miss Hart. You are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, uh, sorry. Good. This shifts things back to my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What you mean? Witness, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered the chamber was Maya Fake, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm. It looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Fay. Exactly. Rats! And I'm trapped like one, again! Wait a minute then. Alright, so let's press this one. Other than those two, there's no one else in the room. No, I don't think. We gotta get something here. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure I am, but that old witch chased us out of the room, so... Old witch? She's talking about Morgan. But there was no one else in there, and you know it! The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? What about... Oh, wait a minute, was there actually someone in there? Hang on. That picture doesn't show that, does it though? I wouldn't even have thought of that. Can we see anything here? Gosh, I'm looking. What about, she definitely took two photos, that I know for sure, so where's the other? Can we see that at any point? It's, it's almost impossible to tell if there's anyone else here. Hmm. Do I want to go with this? It seems like it's baiting you to do it. Under the flooring. I think behind the folding screen is the only, like, reasonable explanation. Oh, I, oh god. Alright, let's try it. What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Rick Given! Huh? What in the... Wreck given, you know. You reckon that's a given? I took me a good look around the room once. There ain't no way anyone was hiding out behind that folding screen. Shit, she did. If I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. What? You got a problem? Wreck given, I mean, I am having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would stop saying such things as reckon given. Oh! Now then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, do you see a problem with the testimony, or don't you? Uh. Shoot. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. Well, shit, how do we get out of this? Where's the other photo? How do I get her to give me that? It seems that there are no issues with Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Fay. Hmm. Alright. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. That's right, that's what I said. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. What am I going to do? If I just let this go... What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. Hmm. If I make one wrong move, I'm going to have the judge against me. Jeez. Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not Maya in the photo? Well, I don't think I can, though. Hmm. What? I don't have anything. There's nothing in the- Do I have something? I don't think I do. It's so hard to tell, because usually when it gives you this prompt, it means that there is something you can actually do, and it's kind of giving you the hint to do it, but I'm wondering if this is actually tricking me, because looking over what we have, I don't think there's anything we'd actually present. Is this a trap? We- I can burn this health if I need to, right? Like, I still got a lot left. Ugh, I'm going with my gut. I don't know if it's right. Well, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. Did I just get a game over? Please tell me I didn't. I really don't want to. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my affair. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence. Oh, okay. So that, that's real. Because I think Phoenix would have been like, Oh no, maybe I should have looked harder into my inventory. That's enough. God, where is this going? I'm very nervous about this. Is this all I could do? I think it is quite obvious to the court that a verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you. I told you. Totally 100% impossible. Miss Von Kalmer, do you have any further questions for the witness? 
Having established the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No, for no. do I have anything? Can I stall? I couldn't protect Maya. The defense... The defense... Ugh! Oh no, I don't know if I did bad. No, 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 maybe we're okay. Phoenix? Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Mia? Is she there? Oh, darling! Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! Excuse me? Pearl's channeling her now? I thought it was- I thought it was Maya at first, but I'm like, wait a minute, she's not next to me. Um, wait, I have a question about how clothing physics work in this game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Maya's one thing, because she's almost a full-grown lady. But Pearl's like seven years old! What? Did anyone in the court not notice this? Um, excuse me, it's very noticeable. Oh my Christ, that scared me. Jesus! I don't know if I'm okay with seeing you like this. I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? Well, I'd say so. I guess this had to be a desperate measure. I'm pretty sure all those clothes are ripped in the back. You- but, but pearls Her clothes are a bit small. You think? Oh my Christ, get that woman a robe! Wow, she looks really cool like this, though, a little bit. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. But how? She's already taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully, one more time, about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? What did we say? It's been a couple of days since I recorded. Dr. Gray. Click. She took two photos, just like I said. Where's the second? We need to have it. Lada had a time like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, I, I knew she took two photos. I was right. Oh my god, this is getting good. You see, there is one final piece of the puzzle. Mia? Question Lada one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it subconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. God. Now then, the court would like to end the cross-examination period. No, no, no. Quick. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. No! The cross-examination has already ended. No, 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 this can't be. Furthermore... Oh, wait, what? It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. Why is she helping us? Does, is she really that confident? A von Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time than this for you to see that? I guess she is confident. She's not trying to help us at all. But, 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 I mean, I have some place I must go after this. What, the bathroom? I mean, I know you're old, but kind of try to hold it in, please. Bloop. All right, I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry and give us another testimony. He's really got to pee. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. All right, here we go. See, you got through to the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got through to him. Huh. <laughs> and made him have to pee more. Wait, what? All right, here we go, part two. When we broke into the room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was, uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. Oh, well, it's perfect that you're a paranormal photographer then, is it? But I still managed to put my camera at Maya and take a shot. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that the one we want? Nothing sounds different from before. Yes, it says, yes it does, but it's a little bit vague, you're right. Alright, let's press her on everything. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. Okay, baby, I'll give it to you. Get ready. Get ready for your dress to just fall off. This is gonna be the most vague shit ever. Great. Useless! When I broke into the room, all I could focus on was Maya. Tell me about that. So, what did she look like? You know, she looked almost like a different person. Uh, a different person? Oh. Very important. She may have seemed like a different person, however, she was still Maya Faye. We have already made that point abundantly clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you happen to see anything else? Hmm, I was kind of scared of the dead body so I didn't take a look at it. Alright. Then perhaps that body was not Dr. Gray's at all. Eh? Well, I reckon that's possible. Objection. What you guys say, babe? If the 
body inside that room was not of that of Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, what if it was out of Maya Faze after the channeling? Or maybe... Ow. Foolish fool spouting foolish foolishness just as I expect of a foolish fool such as you. If that were the case, then that would mean that Maya Faye is, in fact, dead. Really? And that would make the defendant's chair quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Phoenix, even I gotta say, that was a bad choice. Are y'all done here? Can I continue? I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. Do we have to press this? I'm gonna do it anyway. And even knowing that, you still persist in being a paranormal photographer? That's why I'm getting out of this here business. This gal's gonna get the dirt on the stars and be a tabloid photographer from now on. Oh, great. I'm sure she comes back later, right? That probably means we have something to do later with some famous person. She goes through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. Phoenix, how do you know about what a baby be doing? Mr. Phoenix Wright, would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? Well, yes, it actually would. Don't ask. <laughs> oh, dear. I think this is the one that's good. We still don't have that second photo. Are you going to talk about that? Two, right? Here we go. Here it is. Two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Here we go. Miss Hart, where's the other picture you've been withholding? God, why didn't he say this earlier? Why didn't he just blare it out? No, no, no. You got it all wrong. It's not me. I, I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown the other picture to this court yet? Well, ain't it obvious that prosecuted woman showed me, told me to shut my trap about it? Oh. <laughs> oh. She's very, very honest, isn't she now? What? F Von Karma! Oh, she's in trouble now. Miss Von Karma! You- you're hiding critical evidence? Oh, girl, what you gonna say about this? You're not gonna whip your way out of this one. Suppressing evidence like this. You're as bad as your father. Ooh, lord, a mercy. It's getting good now. Um, ooh, what should we do? I want to confront her, but something is nagging at me telling to let the judge have it, because it seems like he's also pissed off. It's not really my place to do it, but I really want to... Mm, I don't want the judge to yell at me. Oh, I don't know, but he's so flaky. God damn it! Your Honor, the defense asked the prosecutor Von Gaharma be held in contempt of court. Hmm, well, yes. <laughs> me? In contempt of court? You can't be serious. But, but you hid evidence from the court on purpose. That's, that's... That's not fair. Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Whoops. <laughs> Shit, I got all fired up. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How could you think? The pictures were more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. No, there must be something in there. More trouble than it's worth? How? How can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. That means she must have found something. Alright, let's look at this quickly. Oh, well, Christ almighty, this is important! Excuse me! The first thing we've noticed is not Maya's face, which I don't really think will hold up and no one's gonna care, but wow, those boobs. But anyway, uh, uh, pardon me, the first thing I'm noticing is there's no bullet hole in the thing. Which means someone changed into this or something. We got the blood, we got the face, which is clearly the Miney Girl's face. But there's no bullet hole in the sleeve, which is what I looked for in the first picture. Oh, hell no. I don't think so. But what is, what is this picture? It's a picture of boobs. Maybe you've never seen them before. I, 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 I would agree that you probably haven't. It's obviously the second picture the witness took at the day of the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Well, I think the important point here is that the person in this picture... This is most definitely not Maya Faye. Exactly. But I think they're probably going to spin that around, because when she channels someone, she takes on their appearance. What is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. 
Now, should I should I not insist that the person in this picture is not my Ooh, we gotta be careful here. We have to be careful here. Because we know that it's not her, but it technically is her body that's channeling someone else. Good god, this is important. Okay, uh. Should we insist that it's not her? Because it's not. When she channels her, Maya is technically gone, and it becomes the person she's channeling. Can we use that loophole? I'm gonna try it. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in the picture is not Maya Fey. Y yes I see that. It's just her face. It's not just- oh, sorry. It's not just her face. Her whole body is taking on a different appearance. Ah, they're saying that Maya has no boobs. Well, it's true, isn't it? There is only one conclusion that can be drawn, then. That somehow this other person snuck in and traded places with the Phoenix, that's not what's happening. Or is it? Oh, dear. Order, order, order! Well, yes, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. Is that really what happened? Wait a minute, now I'm getting on some crazy conspiracy-ass shit. Is the nurse not really dead? Was this a setup? No, wait, let's not get- let's not go crazy. Let's just hang on and wait and see what happens. Yeah, we did it! You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's smiling? I think you had better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma? What do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like you to take a look at this picture. Oh, there she is. This was taken yesterday at the detention center visitor's room. Who took this picture? This is when she was channeling Mia. With the big old boobers. That's not what she looks like, though. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Fey, during his visit. No, no, no. You can't use this. Maya Fey? But isn't this a totally different person? She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling his spirit. Oh, that close-up on her face, girl. Who does your hair? It's unbelievable that she- It's happening right now in the courtroom and no one said anything. However, it is true. When Maya Fey is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. I mean, she's not wrong. I knew she was going to spin this. I knew it. I wonder if she knows what she's doing. Mia? Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. That picture can't be submitted as evidence. Can we use that? Obviously, this picture is illegal. But I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. Then why did you just bring it out? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, the case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. Uh, yeah, because of boobs. I mean, that's how it works, isn't it? I don't even have a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person that is the defendant, Maya Fey? Can we get them on the bullet hole? Because that's not, it's not, ugh. It's not conducive! But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. Shoot. Is there any way I can prove the person in this picture is not Maya? I ha- it has to be the bullet hole. This is already after the fact, why isn't it there? That's all I've got. Okay, we'll try it. Oh, crap. Your Honor? Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. This picture? Within this picture lies a critical contradiction. It's gotta be that. It has to be. Oh, I hope I'm correct. So you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Oh, girl, I got you. Why don't you point out exactly what is so strange? Okay, uh, is it my right, her left? I think it is. So, somewhere around here, right? Oh, I hope. Uh, yeah. Let's try that. Please direct your attention here. To the sleeve? But, but there isn't anything odd about it. And that is exactly what is so odd! Oh shit! This is getting so good! Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there? Oh! Your bra just went again, girl. I'm sorry. Man, you need to get better ones. I'm just saying, how many you got down there to, to put on? It's crazy. There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. 
Oh yeah. Oh yes. Now it's happening. Miss Von Karma, you, you, you intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? Girl, what you gonna say? You didn't notice? I don't think so. You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. All right. Oh, she's gonna be mad. <laughs> she's gonna get so mad. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Yeah, without her, you wouldn't be winning. Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Man, she, she's like her dad, right? She's just not moved by anything. Unbelievable. She's terrifying. Jumping the gun again, I see. Your Honor, I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at Precinct had missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. Oh, she's gonna pin it on the cops. Of course. As I didn't, I could not have known that this picture was of any value to this case. Hmm, I see. She's lying through her teeth, I know it. That woman knew everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. Oh, I'm sure she did. But you can't prove that. Francisca von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Franzi, how are you gonna do this to me, girl? I thought we had something. Your Honor, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure that the detective gets what's coming. Oh no, she totally threw Gumshoe under the bus. Man. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth at the next salary discussion. Poor Gumshoe. Man, we need to take him out for a dinner. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. That is a problem. How are you going to defend that? The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've got into this one shot, all right? Well, pardon me? Oh, the case. Right, okay. I got it. <laughs> I know I'm on it. Sorry. I was distracted. By something. There's only one logical explanation for the contradiction. Pictures are fake. The bullet hole was made later. The shooter is someone else. I'm worried about this conspiracy now. There's no way the picture is a fake. Lada was there when, when she took it. We saw her. Bullet hole was made later. Doubtful. It's gotta be this one, isn't it? Oh, shoot. This is thrown up. Uh, this means totally different shit happened then. Oh my god. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. There can only be one explanation. Is she really not dead? Don't tell me in the comments, actually. I don't know. I'm just asking theoretically. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? Oh, girl, there goes your bra. How many bra- how many bra holdings is that? Like, we need to count. Order, order! If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ow! Oh, I don't think that's order. What's happening to her? She's falling apart. She's got no bras left. The defense. The defense's argument is a complete mess. Girl, I got you. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness. Ah! What the heck? Is that any way to ask a gal a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who said it was only the two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you were lying, I swear that my whip will be the last thing you see. Oh my Christ. That's threatening. In court. Look, sis, you're looking mighty scary, so why don't we say you- Ah! I swear, I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there, honest. You see? Now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Oh, I don't know. Alright, let's think about this. Is this a real question? Well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant... Then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right! Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Come on, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright. I can't believe that even Mia's calling me by my full name. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Think. Think. Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? No, give me some more of that whip, girl. I'm ready for you. Phoenix is the best bottom bitch in town. Or do you think you have enough in to turn things around even now? I might turn things around. Think about this. That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So where did this intruder appear from? And where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at the situation from a different angle. 
from a different angle. Hang on. I might be quiet for a minute because I'm thinking. Is there any place that could have connected that we don't know about? Bullet hole. The key also is... Ugh, this is what's really getting me. If she had the key, someone could have possibly gotten in. But from where? I bet you there's some... I bet you there's a secret passage somewhere that this key opens. Let me look. There's the door on the left. Could anything have come up from anywhere here? If so, we, we can't really tell from this, can we? Shoot. Let me look at something else here real quick. I don't see anything here that looks like a trap door. Although it could be under the bench. Or behind the folding screen even. We don't know. Could it be under the futons? Not the futon, sorry. The tatami mats. Uh, the same difference. Not really. I mean, they're clearly... I mean, tatami mats do rest on the floor like that. Shoot. There's gotta be a secret passageway. There has to be. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already ruined? That's also... That could also have been. Did they sneak in from somewhere, or were they already placed there? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? That would mean a secret trapdoor. For sure. Because nobody came out. We were there. If I could prove either of those conditions were true. Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've come up with. I think either is possible, although we don't know enough about the secret trap yet. Hmm. I think, I think, no, there's no way, hmm. Either one. If there's a secret room, then the first one or the second one could have happened. But I think someone was already in there and planted. This- Maya had left the room, I think. That has to be what it was. It- oh, I think this is right. A third person had entered it, but from where? I think, if anything, if- even if there was a secret passageway, hear me out on this. I think Dr. Greg probably would have heard it opening, and, and it would have been like a big thing. I think the person would have already had to have been in there for this to work. I'm gonna go with this and pray. Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point, and the defense can prove this. Oh, how a foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish dreams. Maya Faye was being looked at by your aunt, Morgan Faye. Is she involved? Oh, fuck me. We're about to blow the lid off this, and now I've got more conspiracies than anything. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than that detective's salary. Anyway, let's see some evidence. I know exactly what I'm picking, too. Prove that the time of the mur from the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant had left the room. It has to be this. This is all we have that's showing that someone somehow got in some way, although probably not through the front door. Oh, take this. Because we haven't used this yet. Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I seen it. Hey, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. That key's the only one of his kind, after all. That's right, they did say that. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Mm-hmm. Hold on to that bra, it's about to go. Actually, she doesn't have one on anymore. I think she's ran out. Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Yes? It looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Huh? What do you mean? Oh my god, Judge, please. If Maya Fey locked herself in, the key shouldn't have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Ah! Well, ain't that a kick? So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. Oh, shoot. That's right. Th that's preposterous. This means that Maya Fey must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. N n no <clears throat> There goes her bra. Finally, the boobs is out. Free as a bird. Is that- oh. Oh, things are happening now. It seems we have come to an impasse. Oh, do we get a break now? We probably have to go back and examine shit now. I'm positive now that there's a, a secret passage. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. 
However, is this person the defendant or not? Oh, I'm starting to get things now. Wait a minute. So a person was already in there. It's not Eeny Miney, is it? Because she also had a clothes box to change clothes with. Oh, shit. I, oh, my God. I think I'm on the right track here. Oh, man, things are going off. The defense is arguing that the person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss Von Karma? How? How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defendant is not possible. My perfect case! How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. Okay. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Oh, I'll, I'll continue with her in the lobby. Don't you worry about this. All right. Tomorrow, that means we get to go investigate, do we not? Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, I'm about to blow this up. Y'all don't know. Right. Wow! That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yeah, I felt I had no choice. Great going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Uh, yeah, I think I knew. <laughs> you know, I had one or two, uh, one or two hints that it might have happened. Nick? I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. But you were unconscious. And I don't think that a third person could have gone into that room. Yeah. She was already there. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in the room, for instance. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Ah, uh, I envy the two of you. What? Oh, by the way, Nick. Do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. All right, Pearls. You ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A ticket? Poor thing. So sheltered. Yeah, she good though, isn't it? All right. Well, in the next one, I guess we go back? And man, I'm gonna investigate every little thing. You just wait. Oh man, I've got so many ideas. I think I might be right about a couple of them. So excited. Hope you guys will join me in the next one too. Leave a like if you liked it. It really does help. Thanks for being here, guys. Bye!